So, I know we left off, we were just about to go into um, Galactic Headquarters. And this is our team. Our team could be better leveled, I know. But we'll work with what we have. That is not the B button, that is the A button. Go okay, straight in. I'm still really excited of myself with a flipping. Whatever the Pokemon was, can't use cut. I forgot what it was, but I'm still pissed about that. Which one was it? Um... Yeah. It wasn't a Bidoof, because I still refuse to catch a Bidoof. I don't want a Bidoof. I have Psyduck. I mean, how can a Psyduck not use Cut, really? It has, like, little claws for hands. Claws for hands, that... Oof. You're making no sense again, Chloe. <coughs> okay, so if there's any hidden items out here... Let's go do this real quick. I should be able to stream more this week. Last week was the week I was out, like all the time but this week I'm actually not I'm, at my, I'm like I'm in the house for like the entire week apart from yesterday we, we went out I was out all day yesterday but I literally should be able to stream this week so I should be able to do Animal Crossing tomorrow and I may try and do a Monster Hunter stream Thursday or Friday if I want to I'm gonna try and stream something Saturday as well but yeah I'm gonna try and get back to at least two streams a week oh yeah this bit absolutely like irritates me in the game like you're undercover, and you're doing that looker. Now, like, you can at least see four little galactic people loitering here, and you think that's a good thing to do. Okay, we need to update that because it's got the wrong info. Oh, no. I want you to update it. Why do you hate me so much? Why do you hate me this much, you irritating thing? I'm getting very annoyed right now. Here we go. I'll just move that off for a second. You can't see that effect, but you can't see it. <laughs> okay, now you go back down there and update information. Hopefully the information is updated. Don't you dare do that. Okay. Well, that should be okay. Check to see if the information is updated. <sighs> Look, I still, haven't, I still haven't figured out how the hell I fixed Twitch, okay? So I'm still using OBS and it's weird. Look, I'm really glad I bought that drawing tablet because if not, I'd have to hunt, I'd have to get one of the TV set up. And the TVs are currently working, I don't want to mess around with them because then they play up and don't work. Okay. Check what you're working. Okay, the name will eventually fix itself, I swear. Probably. I don't know. I'm just going to stand here while I figure out what I've done. Things will fix itself, they always do. Let's go back to this. It's not part 3, it's part 4, that's the end of it, because I don't know how to fix it. But yeah, this irritates me. It's like, why? And then, like, you go back to being the Galactic ones, but they've just seen you take off the... Ugh, you, you are so useless. Why do you exist? You probably shouldn't tell people that you gave the um, bicycle manager guy pain. Now we traced the wrong way again. I forget, okay? I forget. I need to remember which way I'm supposed to go. I always go the right way to start. I don't want to go. I want to go the wrong way. You two fight. Yeah, so I'll talk about last week. Okay, so... 
I streamed on Tuesday and that was fine. And then everything went to hell afterwards. Wednesday came around and I went out with my own one that is why I didn't stream Animal Crossing. Now I just wish I didn't go out, I just stayed and streamed Animal Crossing. I don't know who you are, stop calling me, I'm not gonna pick up. This random number's been calling me like all day and I just keep ignoring it. If it's important, they're either A gonna text me or B gonna leave a voicemail. If I don't do that, I'm not picking up. I hate, I hate calls, okay? I mean, it's shocking enough that I have to do these streams because I actually hate, like, people keeping my voice because I have a load of, like, anxiety. But, yeah, I'm just gonna keep ignoring these calls. I don't want to answer people at the moment. I never answer people anyway. But, yeah, so, last Wednesday. Last Wednesday was something else. Um, you're gonna die if you stay and I'll switch you out. So, we went to Morrison's. I went mean, at the Morrison's and it was fine. Hey, Lydia! It was perfectly fine. It was a perfect day. We went out. Everything was okay. And then what do I do? I close my granddad's finger in the boot. And then I freaked. So I thought I chopped his finger off. His finger's fine, by the way. Anyway, so that happened and I ended up calling my mum and it was a very traumatic experience. I freaked so much. He's okay, he's okay. Luckily, where um, I closed it, <laughs> there's like um, plastic padding, so all he, all he did was his finger like ate a bit, but he didn't break it or anything, and he hasn't lost his finger, which is perfectly okay. Compared to the time when he slit his wrist open when he was on um, something, when he, when he showed me he had to have um, the skin pulled over it, that's going to go and get an He's all right, though. He's fine. He had some painkillers. He was okay. But I totally freaked and called my mum and Chris. And then my mum was like, what on earth? Look, you don't want to know, Lydia. <laughs> my granddad is kind of... Okay, my granddad likes to play around in the garage. And, like, tinker and stuff. And he has some lathes, so he, he makes pens and that. Lydia knows about the pens because she's seen me when I was at college. I had the pens he made. And one of the times he was messing around in there and his hand or something slipped and the machine cut all over his wrist from like where your where <coughs> excuse me, from where your hand connects to the beginning of your arm, your wrist area, it cut all the way up there. Happened last year though, it's nice. Yes, he is nice. So he had that incident anyway, his finger's okay. Long story short, his finger's okay. I'm no longer panicking. My nan it didn't have to drive home, so she was fine. My mum and Chris were like, what on earth? But everything was okay. The, the day ended fine. Everything was alright. Then Thursday came about, and I was out with my mum and my nan. We were going to um, sort out one of the grave um, yards, one of um, the gravestones. But we couldn't, because there was ant hills. And people who know me know that I'm petrified of ants. And earthworms. But ants as well. I don't like ants. So we went out to do that. And you know, we're standing at um, the grave of one of the old aunts. And it's got these huge, like, lumps all on it. And we're like, there's no way we can dig into that. So um, because actually we pulled in, there was already an ongoing funeral. We asked the guy. Yeah, I am scared of a lot. We asked the guy if he could come over and look at this. So he did. He was really nice about it. And he said, oh yes, that's the ants and their nests. And I was like, oh my god, ants, why ants? So then I, the next, like, 20 minutes is me just going, why ants? Because I'm standing literally on top of an ant's nest, because that entire area is, like, overgrown. So I'm just I'm just thinking, there's probably, like, millions of ants under me right now. So I was, like, freaking out at that point again. I don't like ants. I don't like work, but I don't like ants. Ants really freak me out. So we had that incident. Anyway... That passed, we had, I had to take away, I had a McDonald's on the way back, it was all okay, I got back to my nans, my mum, we chatted for a bit, I got dropped back off at my dad, it was all okay. Yeah, I don't like frogs either. Frogs are slimy though! I don't like frogs, they're slimy. <laughs> so that's the first day, so automatically, you know, after I stopped streaming on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday were just perfect, weren't they? Then Friday comes along, guess what happens Friday? Grandad almost crashes the car into a van. Once again, I was with my nan and granddad. And we were going out to um, the garden centre nearby where I wanted to look if the lady who was working there in one of the little small shops had some um, wicker-related stuff. 
She said that she was going to have some awful cards coming in, so I wanted to look for them. Yeah, I know your mum was in a crash. Was this another one, or was this the one from a while back? So I remember that one. I hope she's okay, though. But yeah, so we're driving, and there's a particular point where we have to go. There's like a cross fork. And we pull up, and my granddad thinks that the person on the left, the van, has flashed him, so he goes to pull out. He pulls out, but this van is driving forward, and literally there's like... I don't know. Um, I don't know how he missed us. Because this van was driving forward as we pulled out. Anyway, my nan screams, Jeff! So I'm on my phone, I look up and go like, what's happened now? Has anyone's hands got caught in anything? Okay, no, it's not my fault. Then obviously my granddad's like, what's wrong? Why are you freaking out? And I'm just like, granddad, you almost hit a van. She's freaking because of that. And then he goes, oh, well, she's always like this. And then the rest of the journey was really, really horrible. It was, yeah, horrible. It was absolutely, like, you could feel the tension. So I'm in the back, just on my phone, trying to tune everything out. We get to the place, I walk off, those two come along later. When we get when, when we get back in the car, it's all okay. But when we get back to the house, my nan's like, oh, well, once you left, I told him, and he won't accept it. He says, it's a... and I'm just going, well, nan, you don't like driving. I mean, I don't want to, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know how to drive, because I'm terrible at driving. She's terrible at driving, she won't drive. So my granddad was going like, oh, well, when was the last time you went in this car? You never want to drive, do da 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 So we had that. Anyway, that they ended up fine as well. Everybody was okay. Safdie was fine, I believe. I can't remember, can't remember anything happened on Saturday. I believe Safdie was an okay day. Everybody was happy. Everybody was okay. Um, Sunday was fine. Oh, no, actually, no, I got to Sunday. Sunday actually wasn't fine, I just remembered. Yeah, Safdie was okay, though. We went to um, Nan and Granddad's for breakfast. We went back um, here. Then I went to stay at Nan's for a few hours while Granddad went to watch the football. And they lost. Half now was perfectly fine. Everything was okay. That's why I didn't stream basically because of the times around it. I didn't want to like get back, stream, then go back right after. So I decided just to take us as a day off. But I do want to try to stream um, this weekend. Then Sunday came along. And by now you're probably thinking, well how can it get any worse? But it didn't get worse. This is just another thing to add on to the issues that happens. So we go for Sunday dinner. Which will be about lunchtime over here. And my nan's in the kitchen and she's doing it. And my granddad at the moment, he can't walk. He's on him. Um, he's having to have two sticks. And we need, I'm, I'm, well, particularly, I'm trying to tell him he needs to get a walking frame, but you won't accept one. My dad's going, you need to lose weight, you need to do this, you need to do that. And we're just going, Dad, will you shut up for like three seconds? So he's got, he's, he's walking on two sticks, but he's in a lot of pain because of it. So dad goes to granddad, why don't you go help her in the kitchen? So he gets off his chair and he hobbles over. And, I'm, and then I get called, and so I'm like, alright, you sit your butt down in that chair. You stay in that corner. So, so I, I make Grandad go sit down, then I help Nan dish out for dinner. Then I tell her to go sit down. So then we're all having dinner, it's all okay, everything's fine. Well then we have the... Oh. The pudding. I think it's burning. So Dad gets that out, and it's burned the top. And then Nan starts to freak out, because that's what she does, she freaks out. So she's freaking out, and we're just kind of like, just calm down, this stuff happens. So obviously then Dad does the thing of saying, you know, well, he basically goes, don't freak, when it's overflowed, and it's, I need to clean your cooker. Well that starts to freak her out even more. Anyway, she finishes off, finishes off eating. And we all sit down, and Nan tries to, Dad shouting at her because he, he's not patient, he gets very annoyed. He's currently in a um, conference until half five, so I've got a good trouser, but he's not going to disturb me for definite. So that's the only good thing, he's not going to come barging in when I'm talking about him. So anyway, that happens. The rest of the day was all right. And then yesterday, so yesterday I was out, went into um, Litchfield, which is like a small little area nearby, to go um, jewellery shopping. 
Well, so on my 21st, my mum and her partner Chris have decided to um, buy me a piece of jewellery. Like a nice piece of jewellery. So I set my heart on a wing with a emerald. And I was given a price range to go between. And while we were out, while we were my nan on the Thursday just passed, she said, oh, you know, I can take you into Litchfield. There's some nice jewellery shops. Da, 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 da. So we went out. So they picked me up. And, like, I went with them. Oh, well. So, like, picked me up, went with them. It was all okay. We're walking around these jewellery shops, wearing our masks because, you know, we have to wear our masks because if not, man freaks. We have to wear our masks in the car because she's that freaked about it still. So we went around and did everything. We're going in the shopping, shopping, shop, and there's nothing catching my eye. And then we get to this small little, like, small jewellery shop just the side. And the lady lets my man and my mom come in because we're all together. And we're looking at the rings and I say, have you got anything like emerald? So she brings out some rings for us. And there's this one pretty little ring. It's a gold band with three diamonds and two emeralds and i put on my finger and i think it looks really nice and i'm like this is one i do like this one so we buy that well first of all we think we think it's about 600 pounds i said about 600 pounds but it's in the wrong box so first of all it's already over a budget mom said 500 is the highest which i was looking for wings around 200 pounds because i wanted to keep it like on the budget for her so we're kind of like, all right, well then we get told, well actually, the ring is around £900. Well, at this point, I'm going, nope, too much. Mum's going, would you like it? Yes, but it's too much. Well, okay, no, it's too much, Mum. So the lady says, I'll do it for 750 and my mum buys it. So I'm like, thank you, but that was way too much. She's like, would you like it? And I like it as well, so it's all okay. So we've got this ring. It's a gold, I mean I haven't got pictures obviously because my mum's guy, but on my birthday I will be probably posting pictures of it in one of the servers because I've asked that I can have it on my I've them on my birthday. Like on my birthday. So I have this beautiful ring now and it is it is it is absolutely beautiful. I do love it. It's really, really cute. But yeah, originally I wanted to have a silver band, but we tried this one with a gold band, it's really nice, and then we went into another jewelry shop on the way out. Where my nan got me a little Pandora necklace. I actually saw the same type of ring for the silver bands, but much cheaper. And I was like, yeah, the gold looks much nicer. So we had, so we left, that was yesterday's ring shopping. We went jewelry shopping and we found that. So we left um, Litchfield after me figuring out how do I pay a check in through the machine, because that was another issue. We sorted that out as well. Then we went back to my nan's and was sitting in the house because we were allowed to go in the house, which was shocking. I'm sitting in the house and we're chatting and I'm being attacked by Monty, the dog. He's such a beautiful boy. I took some photos so I'll probably try and post them in the um, hangout server later. And I'll send Lydia some of the ones with me and Monty because he's such a cutie. But yeah, he's an absolutely beautiful boy. So I was hanging out there and obviously had dinner and everything and then got dropped back off. Went back to my dad and I came upstairs and the night ended. And now it's today. So this week's going better than last week, but there's time for it to fall apart. I think that's literally, that sums up the last week. The only other thing was um, on the Coconut Basket Roleplay server, we started watching Jujutsu Kaisen, and it is very, very good. Like, I'm telling you, but they need to catch up so we, so we can start, like, um, streaming the next set. We, we, got, we watched up to episode 11, we watched episode 1 to 10 on Saturday night. And like I was awake till like two, and one of the other people say I was awake till like eight in the morning because they're from Asia, so it's like a different time zone, obviously. So we watch, we're watching, we're, we're watching back, and that is really, really good. So I want to continue watching that eventually. I mean, I can get them all in one area again, and we can set some time later on in the night to like watch it. So we have that. Apart from that, apart from that, there's like nothing else to really talk about. I guess I could talk about the imposter cat who um, broke into our house at um, Mum's, not Dad's. Mum posted a picture of this cat who is this, basically posted a picture of a cat in um, our house behind the city by the curtains and was like, this is not one of ours. So obviously me and my sister were kind of like, well, what on earth? And... 
I'm kind of like, it's an impression, she's like, keep it. So then, like, I talked, I, obviously I checked the mum when I saw her yesterday, and she explained the situation. Basically, she was upstairs, I think it was in the morning, and she heard Spyro making his normal Spyro noise, which is basically he growls because he's about to attack a monster, and then wet himself because he's terrified monster hit him back. He's a coward, but I love him. So she goes downstairs, thinking, what's going on? As she comes downstairs, she just sees this very, like, ball of fluff rush past her, being chased by Tori, the mother of the four kittens. It goes into the living room, and she looks for it. She can't find it, she thinks it's left again. Until, you know, the cat starts to run again, and all the kittens are sitting at, like... Okay, where our living room is, is the front of the house and back of the house. So basically, at the front part of the house, there's a settee, and there's, like, a little window um, frame area where you can, like, sit. But the cats are all loitering from the settee and the window in like a circle looking down so she looks and there's this cat hiding inside of the um, curtains peeking its head out with a petrified expression on its face again I'll probably put, I'll post, this in, I'll post this in the discord as well later on when I finish streaming so you know we've got this cat anyway mum decides you know we need to get rid of this cat we have eight we can't keep adopting cats in the family so we get, so she gets the um, dreamies out and the cat walks off and it's fine. But yeah, this cat is a new cat. It's not the cat who fathered the kittens. I don't know, I don't think I've seen him for a while. So yeah, this new cat just came in the house and he's on the place. Can you stop one-shotting me, you bleeder? Mac Punch should be able to kill his priority. Pro there you go. That could actually may have mattered. But yeah, that basically sums up um, everything that happens, which I can remember. Nothing else? Oh, I, I guess there's two more things I could mention. Okay, first of all, this was on the Friday, I believe. Last Friday, we had the um, situation involving the bins, the dust bins, at my and granddad's. That the um, garbage disposal people weren't taking their bins and bringing them up and down, so we had to sort that out. That was easy, but I had, all I had to do was get um, granddad the council number, he had to call him up, he had to explain the situation. It was all fine. Anyway, they sorted that out. That should be okay now. From the fact that the little the bleeding just been um men didn't actually bring the bin back up that was one issue but the more amusing one was on thursday because i wasn't there nan and Glenn had gone out shopping again to get some extra bits and pieces probably without me closing their hand in or anything so you know they went with when they thought they were safe and as they came back just to like pop and get something the phone was going off so nan picks it up and it's packed next door now, Pat lives by herself, her husband passed a while ago, but she's always lived next door and she's like, always really been sweet. She's, she's a sweet old lady. So, my nan's like, oh, hello, what is it? Do, 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 do. Like, I have to go out again. She's going, Liz, my nan's name. There's this huge bird outside. It's flying around the back of my garden. I think it's going to eat and take Ozzy. Ozzy's her dog. So my nan's like, what do you mean a huge bird? So she goes in the back and she looks out and she's, she starts to laugh. It's a kite. Not the bird kite, a flying kite. It's a flying kite. So my nan's like, okay. It's not a bird. It's not going to take Ozzy. Your fish are safe. Because she was scared of the fish in the pond. She's like, no, it's okay. Nothing's going to be taken. So she calms her down. You know, she goes and tells my granddad. My granddad's just like, what the? Anyway, Pat's like, well, if, if it comes back, I'll let you know. And Nan's like, it's it's not a bird. It's a flying kite. Someone's flying a kite at the back. Anyway, surprisingly, she was really worried about it taking Ozzy. But Ozzy's like the only actually company she has because her family don't really visit her often. So, you know, she was, she was quite worried. But that literally was really amusing. 
It was funny. It shouldn't have been funny, but it was funny. Okay, let's start off with you because you need experience. Okay, hopefully this won't end badly. Sometimes I have a slight issue with this fight. Okay, let's do this fight then. But yeah, I think that's everything I need to like ramble on about. Okay, so this is, this is not a good setup at all, Chloe. Change the Pokemon out. We take a bit of an issue though. This is about a mini-show. I'm more concerned about the Skun Tank because I think it has Flamethrower. It might not have Flamethrower straight off the bat, but I do know it does get eventually. Now I need to think about something to talk about because I just like talk about everything. Oh yeah, there's a new um, there's a new update coming like an Animal Crossing. There's that, I guess. Looks really, looks really interesting. Obviously, I'll, I'll talk about I'll be talking about that probably more tomorrow. So I think that's when the update actually yeah, the update's out tomorrow. So if, if I do some Animal Crossing tomorrow, I can talk about the update more then. But it does look good. I'm quite excited for it. Apart from that, what else can I talk about? I don't really know what to talk about. I mean, I've been spending most of my free time, like, I haven't played much, many games. This is my first time probably playing a game. Um, I farmed Fake Land Order. I got, I finished the event on that, with a few hours to spare. I do need to go back and finish one of the, um, one of the next Lost Belts to, um, unlock some more Saint Quartz. So I might try and do a little bit of Fake Land Order eventually. So I've got, I've done that. I think there's a new event coming up as well, which I need to get through. Apart from that, apart from that I, haven't played, I haven't really played any games. The last time I actually played a game was when um, I played Monster Hunter with Unity. It was a couple of weeks ago now. I've been playing them, I've just been literally so focused on the servers. So many servers to work through. Okay, we might actually die here. Nico to speed. Okay, we just got double intimidate, that's perfect. I'm hoping that will be enough to protect us. Okay, no, we did. Eh, it's worth a wish. We're not gonna survive this. Oh no, we survived. I don't think we. I did not think we were gonna survive that. Okay. That is um interesting, to say the least. potion. She's got help now, it stays as the minimal um, roll and it doesn't get critted. Nope. That's okay. That yeah, could the baby boss for I don't know why these games are always slightly harder. Okay, perfect, you finally missed. Thank you. I'm not risking going and not getting purged, I'm just going to keep using Quick Attack. If we're lucky, we can get a few more um, quick stuff. Okay, perfect. We're back where we were before. That's fine. Okay, you're going to faint now. We're going to um, Munferno next. We should be neutral. Oh, that is a nice Spanish draw. Okay, we'll try to use Flame Wheel, we'll have to do more. That does ever so slightly more damage. Quite Ember. I know we have a um 
we have a dropping physical attack. Yeah, it's because of our, it's because of our um, bad physical attack. We have a physical attack. We're playing wise now. I need to play it more. I do. I mean, I was talking about earlier when I first started the stream about possibly trying to um, stream a little bit of it first year Friday. But oh, I might tell them on the servers that I'm going to be unavailable for a few hours and just play it. <laughs> did, did I get shouted at? <laughs> I get shouted at for being a not responsible um, server owner because I leave my admins to do all the work. <laughs> Yeah, I do need to play a bit more because like, I do want to like at least finish a story at least with it. Okay, so this guy's happy now. He got his Clefairy back. He didn't really care about much about the Baneri, but you know. Don't be horrible to your Baneris. So we're just going to abandon this building. Run away. I don't know why I always found these games are quite... I don't know why I find these games to be like so difficult at times. What weapon are you using at the moment, Lydia? So I still need to like practice more with the um, bow. Okay, cut this tree down. And walk away. I'm going here. I'm going to get the side duck back out because I believe... Ooh, Naga. Oh yeah, you still need to get the set, don't you? Ooh, so yeah, so you're using hammer and great sword, okay. I mean, I know with me, I've been mainly just practicing with the door blades, but I do want to get good at using the um, bow again. And I do want to possibly attempt the hunting hogs. It looks like it'll be pretty fun. But so far, I'm only really good at using the um, door blades because I've been using that since I started. Okay, let's. Oh, we can get the high rank one. Do the high rank one to get the bear um, ranked furniture because we can always burn it. Oh my god, I think Animal Crossing to get the higher ranked armor sets because we can always do the um, other one, like the lower ones, if you want to like do full completionist later. It is fun, yes. I mean, I just love like slicing and dicing them up. That's like fun enough for me, but I do know it's a lot of fun when you get to bash their heads in. Okay, let me out. Let me out. Me and this side duck have places to be. We might as well need to fix the side duck down here. He hasn't spoken in a while. Huh. Okay, I think we have to do, we have to at least talk to this guy and get the item. If we don't, they go, they start screaming at us for not talking to him. Yeah, I'm not doing this, okay? Leave me alone. Thank you. Thank you. No. Okay. Sure. Goodbye. I don't want to do that. I'm just talking to you to shut them up because if I don't, they're going to start screaming at me. Okay, talk to the bike. Cynthia. Cynthia, I'm busy. Cynthia, I can't take this egg. Thank you, Cynthia. No, Cynthia. Oh, Cynthia, are you... Cynthia, are you kidding me? Poke my egg, I don't want to poke my egg. Cynthia, I'm going to hit something. <sighs> we'll go, we'll go deposit side duck again. Come on, Psyduck. You had your three seconds of sunlight, now it's gone. <laughs> this poor Psyduck, it's just everywhere. Okay, then we'll get the egg. I believe the egg's Togepi. But it might not be. I can't actually remember. Yeah, I'll take the egg. What is this flipping egg? I don't, I don't know what you're calling me, you random people. Pokemon... Platinum egg. What is the egg? It's Togepi. 
Well, I love Togepi, and I love Togekiss, but I used one in the last playthrough and I feel like that'd be an issue if I reused it again. I'm not the only, only one who's got to think that way, right? plus I'm like totally keeping Crobat on the team and I don't kind of want to double up on flying types. So Togepi this time will have to be put in the box. Sorry Togepi. I used you in the last one though and I'd feel bad if I just used the same Pokemon over and over again. Does that mean if I came across a Zorark I'd use that over and over again? Yes. Zorark is like my favourite and signature Pokemon so of course. Okay, now we can go talk to the person... Okay, you go, go You go fight Naga then. Okay, no, I don't want to talk to him again. No, go, go away. I, I don't I don't want to talk to you, old man. Leave me alone. Okay, let's go over here. Let's chat to this man over here. Where's your Benimi gone? Who did the Benimi belong to? Thank you. See, if I use this easy to get a bike in real life... Yeah, I don't want the manual. I, I don't go away. I don't want to talk to you. You freak me out. Leave me alone. 